Hey folks, I uh, just wanted to make a little video here of a couple of different uh, drum extraction softwares uh, that I was looking at. This one is uh, called Yellow Noise uh, Drum Extract. It's a plug-in that works with Audacity. Um, and this one is Extract Stems 2. Um, <clears throat> this one is a little bit different. It's a little more sophisticated than the than the drum extract um, plugin for Audacity or whatever VST you use. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to make a little side by side comparison of them. Uh, I tried Yellow Noise first, and I tried it with uh, probably about ten or twelve different songs already. And uh, to be honest, the, the results are really not uh, anything to brag about. Um, they do say, you know, they do have a disclaimer saying that it, it doesn't always work, and I just figured I'd try it, but they, this is basically good for your real simple, you know, simple stuff, like uh, separating a beat from a, you know, a real simple, simple piece of music. It's, you know, if there's anything major going on in it, it just doesn't work that well. But anyway, I have this queued up. It's the Rover from Led Zeppelin. And it's something that uh, I wanted to uh, pull the drums out of just so that I, I could play to it uh, on my own um, and not have uh, not have uh, John Bonham's drums in it, you know, making me look bad because I suck. But anyway, uh, <laughs> this is the way I do it. Or, or this is something that I wanted to do because I noticed that online there are very few uh, drumless tracks and I didn't know where to go. And I started searching for how to remove drums and these two pieces of software came up uh, I was trying to do it just the regular old way in audacity to just uh, I don't know how they do it I tried doing it but it just doesn't work and it sounds terrible so anyway I figured I'd try this one first um, so that's what I did I ended up buying it for $55 uh, I really haven't done much with it but anyway here goes the rover and I'm going to show you how this works uh, I'll do the best I can so that you could hear it Raise the volume up a little bit here so you can hear it through my... Now, these are through my PC speakers, which are a little bit better than my laptop speakers over here. But you can hear that. That's the original song. Now, I'm going to start to take the drums out of it. As you can see, I'm almost through, and you can still hear the drums. Okay, so that's fully out. As you can hear, it sounds pretty darn horrible. So I'll pick this up a little bit, and now you've got drums in there again. And it still sounds horrible, it's all distorted. You know, you can switch modes. It doesn't really do much. And that's what you've got. It just really doesn't do much for this song. And now let me stop this. Now let me take you over to Extracts, which I've already... Same song, The Rover. I have it queued up to the same spot. Uh, and I've already separated it. I've already separated it. You have your, your vocals here. <clears throat> on, on the middle line, you have your drums. And on the bottom line, you have all your instruments. So here they are. Well, I have the drums muted. But here's, here's the whole file played together okay now again these are my laptop speakers they're not as good but what i'm going to do is i'm going to mute out the drums now and as you can see the vocals are still nice and clear you lose a little bit of fidelity it's not perfect but when you actually play to it, it fills in those little cracks where the drums were. So it actually sounds a hundred times better than the other one. It works, it works not too bad. I'll, I'll put the drums back on. Take them out. Take the music out. And that's just vocals.
Okay, so it's a million times better than uh, than the other software by a landslide. Okay, I'm not here to do a, a review on this whole thing. I just wanted to, you know, I'm not going to show you all of all of what what can be done with it, but it's it's very easy to use. Um, and if you're interested in um, doing that for your drum covers and just uh, removing drums, it really isn't bad. It was originally uh, $99, but I found it, you know, I've been looking at it for, I don't know, probably about a month now, uh, just debating whether I wanted to pull the trigger on it. And uh, the other day I noticed that it was $49, and this is Audio Audionamics uh, Extracts Stems 2. And I found it on their on their website. Um, just you know, if you Google Audionamics or Extract Stems too, it'll it'll come up. Their their website will come up. And it was forty nine dollars. I said for the forty nine dollar price tag, <clears throat> I'll pick it up. Uh, I've already done I don't know several songs with it, and actually played to them, and they really do not sound bad at all uh, when you play them back. Considering um, you know, um, considering the fact that it's it's taking music that's already together without source tracks. So it really, really is not too, too bad. I read a couple of reviews from a couple of other people, and they said, you know, it's 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 spotty and this and that. I suppose that if you're really looking for, you know, high-tech stuff for a, a recording, that this really isn't for you. But if you're like me, you know, the hobbyist drummer who just likes to, you know, tinker around on a drum set every now and then and play to play the stuff that I like to like, you know, like to listen to and like to play to, then, then this is for you. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, it's a really cool practice tool. But anyway, um, that's basically it. All right. I hope this uh, review helps somebody and uh, good night. Bye-bye.